Everyone, welcome back. So, I uh, went through the bazaar. I got a few things for a few other characters that we won't see next. I cleared out easy mode on both of these levels, and I missed the full heart, which somehow I missed. Not entirely sure how I missed that one, but I did manage to get all that. So, uh, I still got Beard with me. Hello. So, I, we're supposed to go in with fire uh, with a fire character at least which i think we're going uh going to need so so i'm gonna go in as there we go uh i'm gonna go in as link uh what did you want to go in as impa or sheik I'll go in a Sheik. Uh, strong attack up. There we go. Link and his allies were saved from the dangers of the Elden Caves by a mysterious youth named Sheik. Joined by their new ally, Impa's troops exited the caves and emerged in Farron Woods. There, they found a hidden village overrun with monsters. While Link and Impa wanted to continue their search for Zelda, they could not ignore the plight of the villagers. Without hesitation, they sprang into battle. Absolutely zero hesitation. Oh. Double Sheiks again. <laughs> oh, did, did you want to go back and grab Impa then? No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, basic uh, basic stuff with uh, magic users. It's like, oh, hey, I use magic. Cool. Y yes, we kind of want to know. It'd be very imperative. Well, I'll tell you when you actually save the world. What? Uh. Okay. So the fire rod is kind of interesting because it's, uh... So this whole thing is about, like, crowd control type stuff. like regular combo is somehow a lot cooler than anything else he does. What the is Stay still. I'm good. Thank you. There we go. Use this massive bomb. There we go. Um, we need to get the bow right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, south of the village. Yeah. I'm trying to take out the south square really quickly. Oh, I guess we're both in the south square. Didn't realize that. Forgot there was a Jack Obama right there. Oh, I see where it is. It's like up and around.
Uh, already heading to it? Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, I think the first thing we should do is probably fill up the the deckers. Got it. Yeah, I took out two. Uh, I forget which one opens up first. I'll head north. Okay, I'll take the south tree one. You know, I'm starting to think that it might be a little dangerous to us. To take this uh, fire weapon into a. Uh... into a tree. <laughs> Yeah, I really like that movie. Weapon up wire. Okay, let's see what his uh his big move is. Yeah, some fire dragon. I wonder if the name of the fire dragon from uh Ocarina of Time, which one was it again? Volvagia? Volvagia, you're right. Volvagia. Yeah. No, I'm saying that because, like, I remember that, like, the name of a character from this was lightly associated with it, so I couldn't remember. But I yeah, remember. Volga was basically... Yeah. Basically a, yeah. a, a, a play on it. I don't like the fact that I can't actually do damage to the Gimbos. in that little crevice next to the uh oh, I found chest. And I think it might be on the crev um in the crevice on the far left side of the map. Oh it's the warp uh ocarina. The mm -hmm. warp arena. Now if we find the owl statues we can warp anywhere. Right, those are gonna be useful. Some enemies. There we go. Here we go. Here it is. Okay. I got this outfit cleared. Right here. Whoops. 
automatically switched me to the Ocarina. That was... That was bad. going into the right way. Whew. Silver material. is probably going to the upper right and then try to take that one out. I didn't do that. Everything's on fire. I swear I did not do that. Who else has a giant fire rod? Uh, Wizro apparently. Uh, I think right now we have to get to the fairy fountain. Yeah. Uh, fair fountain appears to be in the upper left. Yeah, upper right. That's what I said. Okay, I'm heading to the upper left. Or at least I would. I don't think you can get to the upper left right now. No, I have to wait for them to jump down. These guys can't be stunned. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna go south and try to take them there. Or advance in that way. I'm gonna get to the ferry. Do we need to do that? Chicken. You do not hit chicken. 
Although I think if you actually do uh, hurt the chicken and all of the uh, cuckoos uh, come out at you, if you take out the, uh, the leader of the cuckoo faction, you can in fact get like uh, rare items. But I can't actually remember like what exactly entails it. I don't think it's really anything worth it. I think it's almost like a constellation, uh, consolation prize of like, yeah, cool, you, you did something, I guess. Yeah, grab all those fluffy clouds. Cool. Now that we've done that, what is the last thing for us to do? I think it's just to capture the last round. Yeah, I'm gonna go south into this uh, into this room and take it, and then take this one. Out. This room over here. You heading up the most? Yeah. Uh, I'll join you in a bit. I'm just exploring a little bit more. I wonder how that hit me. Oh, uh, this needs to be opened by sheep, so you need to come down here at some point. Uh, if I can move. I'll just go up to where you are and take your place. Where was it? It's way down in the bottom. So in the uh, in the bottom right one, there's this path that like angles like a J shape. See that? Huh? Not really sure how that happened, but okay. On the right side? Uh, yes. Okay, got him. I, I, made it, it. I think it might just be a sealed weapon, but I'm pretty sure it might be a heart. Oh right, because it's character specific. a level in a of the Decker tree, but uh, without seeing a, a gun. Keep saboteurs. Shit. Did 
getting a lot of uh, silver Gimbo items. Maybe this is a good sign. Hopefully this is a good sign. Yeah, yeah, I know. Very exciting to the middle. Take out the saboteurs. Uh, I'll be down there in a bit to, uh, because I also have a full magic gauge. Oh wait, I didn't realize we can actually capture the um, the uh, their main base. Yeah, but you have to be cool enough to beat it. Oh, there we go. the stinking laser. Silver items at the, um, in total. I like how they still had um, they still had Link not talk at all in this entire game, and um, they explained it by giving him a fairy. Yep. <laughs> and was like, I did something. <laughs> Oh yeah, Zelda's still gone. I wonder where she is. Mm. Hmm. Well, there are two sheiks in that level, so who knows? Maybe it's one of them. I don't know. The other one didn't really exist. For generations, Hyruleans have told the tale of the war across the ages. This is how it begins. Did it? Because I don't think that's canon. Deep in the forest. If you think about it, nothing's canon. A great source of the current game you're playing is canon. Of the Triforce. Through her magic, she could see across ages, able to read the fates of all who lived, but never interfering. That is, until a unique soul caught her attention. Oh, it's Link the from, uh, of the hero of legend, from uh, the Minish Cap. That, that's the art style, right? <laughs> this art style is kind of Minish Cap like, though. Very Minish y, yeah. Through her powers, the sorceress should have seen that the hero was bound to another. His weapon. Instead, she saw only a soul that was unlike any she had known. While the sorceress was preoccupied, a fragment of darkness, locked in its prison, saw an opportunity. Hey, it's me again, and I'm showing up as a dark red mist. I the wonder if that's going to show up in a later game. Ooh. Ooh. 
But no, there are actually a lot of people that think that uh, this might actually be the Ganon from Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that it's that that is how it corrupts her. Because it's basically making of her course, like one of the uh, this evil the blights own desires. Almost. To use the Triforce to resurrect itself. I mean, that would be a good theory, but at the end of the day, it's you know just a theory. Yeah, a game the theory. From her heart. The no, no, you didn't do it right. A game the theory. The doorway of time itself. Well, no, she's turning into a Bestiria character. <laughs> Monsters from across the ages pour through the gate. Bringing ruin to the land of Hyrule once more. I also like the fact that she's, she's got like this like sorceress staff, but in reality it's actually a flail. <laughs> it's actually pretty great. So that was five Gibdo swords. One Goma Acid. Give Bill bandages. Oh, thank you. I needed, like, um, I needed some metal plates. So I guess that's the level I should go to to pick them up from now on. Bazaar has leveled up. Potions are more effective. I can make mixtures. That's cool. And now you can play as Linkle. Oh, and now the smithy is open. That's cool. So yeah, we might do... Uh, Linkle is... There's only one playable character in this one, so I might just do that on my own. Uh, next time I'll figure out what we're gonna do. I need to go back and grab this. We also need to do... Probably after we finish the entirety of the prologue, we'll go back and do hard mode on each of the levels. Who knows? But until then, uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye!